Today I'm taking a look at the Filmora editing software and discussing if I think it's a good video editing software for beginner drone pilots. Let's jump right in. Today I'm going to take a look at Filmora and the features I think are best with this video editing software. Now full disclosure, Wondershare has provided me with a copy of Filmora for free and paid me to make this video to help you guys have a look at Filmora, have a look at their video editing software and decide if it is the video editor for you. And if you want to download this video editor, then there is a link in the description down below. So my brief initial conclusion of Filmora before I get into the nitty gritty features are that I am really impressed with the level of advanced functionality this software offers while keeping that extremely user friendly. Now Wondershare target Filmora at the beginner level video editor. And it achieves this by having an easy interface that's easy to understand. But what has impressed me is if you peel away, you start to get advanced levels of functionality that can satisfy even someone like me who really likes to get into the nitty gritty when they're editing their videos. So let's get into the things about this software that I really, really like. It's easy to understand. If you take a look at some of the more expensive or more advanced video editors on the market, when you load it up, it can be really intimidating. There can be windows everywhere. There can be terms that you don't understand. And even doing something as simple as putting a few clips together with some text can become really laborious and really difficult to do. The first thing you'll notice when you load up Filmora is just how nice and simple the interface is. It's really intuitive to use. And even if you haven't read any instructions online, you'll find it very straightforward and very simple to put them clips together and create videos. It's very straightforward. Everything's labeled extremely well. And there's handy tooltips throughout the video editing software that even if you're the most beginners of beginners, you will be able to navigate around this video editing software and use all the functionalities with very little practice or very little time spent working out where everything is and what everything does. It's just very intuitive. You can pick it up and run with it straight away. And that is a big plus because like I said, some more expensive and more advanced video editors, one of the drawbacks with them is there is a steep learning curve. It can take time to be able to use the software to its full potential. Whereas the thing I liked about Filmora is you can jump in and use it to its full potential straight away. Color grading. Some video editing softwares aimed at the beginner end of the market completely gloss over color grading. And that's not ideal for us drone pilots because to get the most from your drone footage, you do need to apply a little bit of color grading to take your footage from a nine out of 10 to a 15 out of 10. Now Filmora has advanced color grading options, which is really nice. You can adjust your contrast, your saturation or vibrance, or if you wanna go deeper and more advanced, you can start playing with your highlights, your shadows, and you even have a histogram so you can really color grade to perfection. Now, if you are scared by color grading, something Filmora has, which I thought is really nice, is it comes packaged with LUTs or looks. So you don't need to dive into the advanced color grading window. You can simply browse a catalog of looks. And unlike some other softwares where the looks are on the creative end and probably not something you'd ever use, you, you look at them once and think, oh, that, that's nice, but I would never apply that to my footage. Most of the looks that Filmora comes with are nice and subtle and looks that you can actually use. And you may not even need to use these as your final look. You can use these as a beginner point, so apply one, then go in and see the more advanced color grading options which were selected to get this look and tweak it further. It also has functionality to support third party LUTs. So if you've downloaded my free LUT pack, which includes two, three LUTs or looks, or you've bought my drone pack that includes 12 LUTs specific for drone footage, you can apply these LUTs in this software. And that's fantastic because that's one of the questions I get asked a lot is what software accepts these LUTs or looks? and it's great to know that Filmora does. Performance and reliability. In my testing, Filmora has been extremely reliable and extremely fast. Now this is obviously very dependent on the machine you're using. Some softwares, and even the ones I use majority for video editing, are very prone to crashing. It's happened to me, it's happened to people I know. You're getting to the end of a video edit, you haven't saved in a while because you've been stupid, and the video software crashes and you've lost it, and that sucks. But Filmora has been fantastic and really fast and really reliable. It hasn't crashed me once. And that's with using 5.1K footage from my DJI Mavic 3. And one of the best features that allows Filmora to be so speedy is it uses proxy editing. 
So what is proxy editing and why is it so good? Well, the footage that comes from the Mavic 3, for example, is 5.1K H.265 footage. It is incredibly performance intensive to run. You need a high spec machine to be able to run that footage, let alone edit it. So what do you do if you have a slightly less than high spec supercomputer? You can use proxies. So what happens is Filmora will turn that 5.1K footage into a much lower resolution, which you can use for video editing. You can paste your video together, do your color grading. And then when you hit render, it swaps them lower quality clips out for the high quality ones and you end up with the highest quality video rendered, but no performance hit when it comes to editing that footage. It is a fantastic feature. It's something you usually only see on higher end video editing softwares. And it's one of the reasons why Filmora is fantastic in the performance department. Graphic presets. So if you're someone like me who creates a lot of content for YouTube or any productions which require text overlays, for example, you might be with familiar how it is with the higher end pieces of software. So if I take the higher end piece of software I use, for example, if I want nice titles, nice graphics, they're not included. I have to go and buy a third party pack, not with Filmora. And this is really impressive. Filmora comes with included graphic elements. So you can add text animated overlays to your video simply and easily. And it really is simple and easy. All you do is you browse through the massive catalog and it is massive. It's really impressive in terms of the amount of elements you can pack. You hover over them so you can see previews of what they look like. Select the one you want, drag it over your timeline. You can change the colors, the font and the text. And all of a sudden in a few seconds, you have a really high quality professional looking graphic element added to your production. As mentioned, this is something you usually have to pay extra for third party packs for in more expensive video editors. Motion tracking. Speaking of more advanced video editors, something that usually they come with is motion tracking. And this is usually a complicated and advanced feature, but can give you really, really professional results. Well, in Filmora, it's included and it is super simple and super quick to use. You simply drag a box over the object you want to track, hit track, it very quickly tracks that object, and then you can attach text or these graphic elements to that tracking point and have text that follows your subject. Now, this is something, as mentioned, can usually be only achieved by advanced video editors, and it takes your production from a beginner level production to a professional level production. Tracking is something that you usually only see in them professional videos. So you can quickly and easily track text to a section of your video to give it that professional polish. I, I really was impressed that Filmora comes with this feature. Filmora comes with other graphic elements. So these range from emojis to video overlays, and some of them, yes, are a little bit cheesy but a lot of them are incredibly useful. So if I give you my YouTube video example again, something I do quite a lot is I include arrows in my YouTube videos. And to do this with the more advanced video editor I use, I actually have to create these in Photoshop, drag these into my video editor, and then do custom keyframe animations. With Filmora, you simply select an arrow or you, there's other options. So you can have like circles to highlight an object. There's a lot to choose from. You drag it over your timeline, you can change the color, you can change the position, and you can make it custom to your own branding. And again, within seconds, you have a professional level graphic overlay that doesn't require you to go outside of the software to create it. And the best bet, these are animated. Transitions. Transitions are a bit of a taboo subject. If you use a lot of transitions, you can ruin your video. Everybody knows that. But a perfectly timed transition in the right spot of your video can also elevate it. So it's nice to know that Filmora has transitions that you can use included. Some of them are slightly cheesy, but some of them are very modern and very professional. And if you choose the right time in your video to use these, you can really elevate it. And again, it's nice because transitions, graphic elements, all these things in more advanced, more expensive software actually usually is a third party add-on you have to spend 60, 70 pounds to buy and this is all included in Filmora. And it's as simple as hovering over them to see the previews, select the one you like, and dragging it over your video. So my conclusion, as someone who tends to veer towards the more advanced video editors for them advanced capabilities, 
I have been very impressed by Filmora. It kind of has two sides. It has this beginner level appearance, which makes it super simple to be able to use the software and get professional results. But if you peel away at that appearance, you also have advanced level capabilities baked into the software. There's two main features that I am super impressed with. The first is the easy use of proxies. As mentioned, I've been using my Mavic 3 Beast recently and that 5.1K H.265 footage is incredibly performance intensive. To be able to create low resolution copies of that video in a really quick way and then swap them out automatically to get the best quality clips in my render, that is second to none. Working with them high quality clips in some other pieces of software has resulted in it crashing a lot. And again, as mentioned, crashes are common in other video editing softwares. I know I've encountered it. I know other people have encountered it. And I know people that have lost days of work because of them crashes, corrupting files, etc. And in my testing of Filmora, during the entire time I used it with them high performance clips, it didn't crash once. So that's a big thumbs up. The second is just the bank of elements that you have, the graphic overlays, the transitions, etc. That's fantastic because as mentioned with my current video editing software, if I want something like that, I have to go and pay 60, 70 pounds sometimes to be able to buy a third party pack to plug into my software to be able to use things like that. So that is a fantastic feature. So in general, Filmora gets a big thumbs up for me. And I do think you should give this software a go if you're looking for a new or easier video editor. And if you wanna try it out, there's a link in the description down below. So as always, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I'll see you in the next one.